so here uh, we are going to discuss how does an airplane produce lift okay so i will try to explain this and i hope you'll be very clear after this so uh, you can see i have uh, drawn an airplane here so you be focused on this portion i mean tip of the wing here when you zoom this section uh, suppose this is an airplane and this is the wing so i'm talking about this portion then it is actually it looks like this okay so this particular shape uh, in aerodynamics, this shape is called as uh, aerofoil shape. Air foil. Sometimes it can be a e r o aerofoil, right? So this shape is known as aerofoil. Like we have circle, triangle, square, uh, sorry, rectangle and square. So in aerospace, in aerodynamics, this shape is famous as aerofoil. We have very different types of aerofoil. Like we can have aerofoil like this. We can have airfoil like this. Like a lot of types of airfoils are there. For different purpose of airplanes so now we are going to discuss how this works and how an airplane is able to produce lift very properly like we know very well an airplane when it goes front then only it goes up so uh, how to link this idea so first of all you keep in mind uh, if a flow is happening if anything is flowing like water or air if anything is flowing and if you decrease the area of the passage like uh, this kind of shape if air will flow in this kind of shape, this is called convergent shape, right? Convergent duct, convergent. So when, when flow will enter to the convergent duct, the speed of the flow will increase, right? If the Mach number is less than 1, then only. What is Mach number? That is a different issue. But keep in mind, if Mach number is less than 1, then only these things are happening. So if the speed of the flow is... Uh, entering sorry if the flow is entering into the convergent duct here at the exit speed will increase right why just to maintain continuity equation m is equal to rho a v where rho is the density of the li liquid a is the area at this section v is the velocity at this section and uh, whatever mass flow rate is here same mass flow rate will be here and because uh, you can say like mass flow rate is m2 like uh, rho 2 a2 v2 then uh, because density is same and you are decreasing the area so just to maintain the mass flow rate your velocity will increase right so if flow will enter into the convergent duct speed will increase in same way what happens in aeroplane you see this portion when flow goes like this it goes up right so now it is important to discuss what's happening over the wing in this section what is happening so like here when flow goes up flow is going like this flow is going like this flow is going like this so actually something is happening which is related to this concept and i will try to explain that what is happening suppose we are using an airfoil which is like this so when flow comes like this here you see flow will be disturbed like this right flow will be disturbed like this and there will be one limit in the atmosphere where flow is not being disturbed right so if you see from here to here okay it's kind of like here you're you see this is straight but here you are finding out kind of convergent portion right kind of convergent portion so that's why at this section velocity is increasing and whatever is velocity is here here velocity is increasing right in this section so from here to here like in entire zone at every section your velocity is increasing and keep in mind uh, m dot is equal to rho av which is popularly known as continuity equation area is decreasing velocity is increasing so this gives you idea between area and velocity at the same time from Bernoulli equation we know idea about variation of velocity and pressure together when velocity increases pressure decreases right so here pressure will decrease so like here pressure here pressure here pressure velocity is keep on increasing so pressure is keep on decreasing so from here to here pressure will decrease so and exactly opposite thing will happen in the bottom side here pressure will increase so this part will be being pushed and this part will be being sucked okay so it's like uh, in this shape of airfoil uh, here pressure will be less because speed is more and why speed is more because of convergent nature okay and here 
uh, opposite thing will happen here pressure will increase so this part is being pushed by the air and this part is being pulled like kind of suction so uh, this part uh, actually plays more role around 70% of lift is being produced by the upper surface of airfoil so this is how if we have airfoil and flow is happening then airfoil will produce lift okay so in this diagram this is nothing but the wing which is attached with the uh, complete flu fuse last so I, I will try to explain like this if this is an airplane and here you have wing so this thing like everywhere your speed is like this right so from everywhere uh, we are producing lift right so this is how an airplane produces lift now why from where the flow will come flow will not come automatically right so airplane has to move in the front direction then only the flow will come in this direction right so to move airplane in front direction we use uh, engine right so uh, we use engine here so sometimes engine can be jet engine or sometimes it can be propeller engine so basically we have four five uh, six types of engines propeller and jet engines are very popular you can see very easily we have uh, turbo fan turbo prop blah blah things so engines are having one work they will propel the entire airplane in front direction then this phenomena will happen i mean air will flow over the wing and then what i explained here these things will happen and this is how aeroplane will produce lift actually entire aeroplane uh, will produce lift because of almost every shape is aerodynamic shape but main role uh, is uh, actually wing i mean wing is producing lift so wing is the mainly uh, lift producing device in the aeroplane right so if we have aeroplane and if we have wing here so keep in mind next time whenever you are traveling in aeroplane this shape you will try to see it will be like this this is called airfoil shape right i hope situation is somewhat clear thank you